Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to part six of me converting my van. Now, in this video, I'm going to be trying to install the flooring. So some plywood flooring and stuff to obviously the floor of the van. Now, the company, I was going to go up in queue. This was the plan. Go up in queue, get some plywood, um, make a template, cut it myself, but it's the last the last few weeks have just been a nightmare. I mean what are we in now? Middle of December almost. Um it's cold. I've been working nights so by the time I get up um it's already dark and cold. I've been ill as well. It's just been an absolute horrid few weeks and like I say it's the wrong time of year. Um and when you haven't got a garage or workshop it makes it even harder. So um I found, I've done a bit of research, I found a company online called Custom Shop Designs. As usual, I'll leave all the company details in the video description, along with the price of the flooring that I paid and all the details you need to know. Um, they specialise in making floors for camper vans. Um, they do units as well, all sorts of things. But that's where I got the, uh, the flooring from, pre-cut, CNC machined. So hopefully it should be a pretty good fit. Customer service um, and communication I got from them from day one was awesome. Um, and it was super fast delivery as well. I ordered it and the next thing I know is it's at my front door. So yeah, check out their website. Check out their details in the video description. So um, yeah, this is it. Me putting the flooring in. So without further ado, let's have a look at the flooring that they sent me. Right, so the next job, masking tape. I'm just gonna run some along this panel at the front. I'll explain why in a bit. Right, so the reason I've done that is on the floor you've got your grooves. If you screw your flooring down, you want to make sure the screws go in the raised part. Uh, so the raised part of those grooves. So if you put some mask and tape there and do the same on the back, if you get a pencil and just mark every raised groove it's going to give you a guideline roughly of um, where to screw your your holes and put your screws to so to show you what I mean top of this the center roughly of this raised groove here is about there Center of that one is there. Center of that one is there. The center of that one is there. And you just do that all the way along. So, 
same on the back. Back a bit easier because your wood won't go all the way to the end because you've got the plastic panel, or I have on this van, that comes to about there anyway. So just mask off the back and again mark the top of the ridges. And just do that. All the way along the back of the, the van. And then when you've got all the front done and the back done, you can get a pencil, join all these lines up on top of the board. And then you know you've got some sort of idea as to where the top of these ridges are. Tell you what, it's quite warm for December. It's a lovely December day. I'm actually sweating. Uh, right, okay, so let's have a go at fitting this pre cut floor, shall we? Wish me luck.
for a little bit of jiggery pokery and a little bit of Stevie's magic. Um, it's gone in. I thought I was going to have to sand a bit off the edges first, but um, all of a sudden it just went in and it fits perfectly the front bit. So now it's the back two pieces. Right, so now the back, we've just got to figure out which is which. Uh, is, that, is that right? I don't know. Uh, where's the... I've got to figure out which way around this goes now. No, nope, that must be the wrong way. there. So that's down. Now I just need to uh, join up the lines. Right okay so just had an idea for those of you who don't have a long enough straight edge like I'm thinking I'm not gonna have one long enough. Put your front piece of the floor down first which is what this is. Then mark out the centre of the top of the ridge and then draw the lines on the top of this wood here so that when you fit these bits which is now your back pieces you can just take a straight edge and join up the lines Making sure you put them up in the right place. And just join these two lines up all the way. All the way along the piece of the wood. And then it makes it easier to draw your grid. So once your boards and all your lines are marked up, front and back, you can then join up all the lines and make yourself a grid so you know where to draw your holes.
Now you don't have to mark out every single line that you've marked out, just the ones roughly where you think you're going to need the screw. Um, so work out how many screws you want and where you want them and then just mark up those lines. Uh, once you've done the length ones, just measure down the same distance and uh, mark up your lines to go across the board. So on this big piece I'm going to go one each corner and one in the middle, not right in the corners but I'll show you and then one roughly in the middle. So it's going to be this one here. I don't have to be this exact, I'm just fussy. Right, so that's that bit done. Now the back two. In the smaller two back pieces I'm just going to go one each corner of the panel, um, again not right in the corners. Right, so it's drill time. Now I'm going to be using self drilling, uh, self tapping screws, so that they'll go through the wood, bite into the metal and I don't have to drill any holes for that. Um, the only holes I'm going to drill like I say are just guide holes really. Uh, yeah, so let's do it. Five. 
Oh, it's starting to get cold now. Right, so, screw time. So as I said, I've got, I've got the b and and I've bought some self-drilling, um, self-tapping screws. Uh, I've got two sizes. 32mm long and 38 Uh There you go. That's the screws I got. And that size. So, and basically, now this is a bit strange for me because I always thought self tappers and stuff that were black, but hey, oh. Um, they've got like a special bit on the end to drill. Um, they cut into the metal. So, I'm going to try the 32mm first. If they're too short and they don't grab the metal flooring, then I'll go to the 38 here it goes, nothing. That done. So in the end, I ended up using the longer ones. Right. So um, it's been a couple of weeks now um, until I recorded the last part of this video up to this point. Um, as you may have been able to guess and tell, I was coming down with the dreaded lurgy. Yes. Um, wasn't feeling at all great. Um, 
and so I took a couple of weeks off from doing this and my food reviews and um, I'm feeling better now so I thought I'm going to crack on and finish off this video now um, so up till now the floor is down um, it's screwed down And so that is it. The floor is it's all down. It's finished. It's done. Um, and we're ready to move on to the next stage. Right, so yeah, that is it. All done. I'm better. The floor is down. Happy days. Right, so guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do join me soon for part, well I say soon, depends on the weather, um, for part seven, which I'm, what am I going to do in part seven? Hmm, I'm kind of making this up as I go along, you know. I'm probably going to do the insulation and putting the side panels back on. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for part seven, so join me for that. Like I say, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, and guys, that's it for me today. I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm out of here. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video, part seven.